Okay, so, my friend here, you guys remember, we've tried to find the weapon in Fort Bernard multiple times. And so our friend here is going to teach us how the heck to do it, boys. So, this is my friend Sticky Clark. We met a few days ago online on the online mode of Red Dead 2. And, well, he's going to help us find the weapon. And don't tell us what the weapon is. You already told me what it is. But I'm going to ask Pies though for the view. Alright, so I'm in Fort Bernard right now. You there? Wait, what? So I'm I'm in Fort Bernard. Like I'm in the fort walls right now. I'm in the house. So I'm starting in the house where the weapon marker is. How have I missed this every time I've been in? I've been in here like 30 times. All right, boys. So let's. I do mystery videos and shit like that too. Is there is there gonna be someone who jump scares me? Please God. Oh my God, guys! Is that like a brass knuckle knife? Civil War knife. Yo, what's up? All right, boys. Well, I mean, <laughs> let's look at this baby. Let's. Can you customize it? Dang it. Alright, well, thank you for helping us with that, so, go for Bernard. Turns out, I, I'm mental stupid. It's, it's right behind the crates. But, it's pretty cool knife. Alright, well, I'm going to be doing a collab video with him in a minute. We're going to be doing, the story is ending soon. Turns out I got four missions left. Right? Yeah, four missions. Three or four, and then the game we go into epilogue, and so we're gonna see how our tale ends for our good friend Arthur, in probably the epilogue. Do not ruin it for us, cause my crowd does not know what happens, and I do, and I feel bad because I've been. So, we'll see how this game ends, and in the epilogue, let's hope Arthur gets a cure for his TV or something. Oh, shit! I kind of lit dynamite, tried to throw it, and it landed at my feet. So, I guess this will be a multiple mystery video. So, I heard over at the Van Horn Mansion there's a little secret that I want to go check out. It's called... Someone told me it's called the Sleeping money man I have no idea and they said there's like dead people and money but when they said sleeping I was like I, I don't think they're gonna be dead so oh yeah sticky you never subbed to my YouTube channel I forgot you keep asking me what my YouTube channel is Gilly's gaming g-i-l-l-e-y apostrophe as gaming um, <laughs> 55 subscribers, I think, and going. Um, nice channel. Alright, I'm gonna take my Civil War knife in. Ooh, I'm gonna grab my bow and shotgun, just in case it's like, I get ambushed, or there's like a secret basement full of damn people. I do too. Don't ruin it for the channel. I know you won't, because if you do, bad stuff's gonna happen to you. Alright, so let's go downstairs. Hey! It's not here! No. But... No. Nah. Well, the mystery was, since I guess... Reason to ruin it now. Here, let me... Let out my anger real quick. Oh shit, that had fire in it? Damn, run! 
Well, there's two guys. There's two guys sleeping there. I've done this mystery. And there's fifty dollars crash laying on the table. It's just a house robbery thing you can do, like the Aberdeen pig farm and shit like that. Fifty dollars. If you grab the table, the guy grabs your hand, and the guy on the floor wakes up, and they're both like, "Ah, oh, what the fuck you doing, my house, bitch?" Not that aggressive, though. I made it sound very aggressive. Now I feel bad because I had to put you guys through the Mickey Mouse voice that I know you all hate so much. <laughs> hey, kids! Welcome to my bedroom! Alright, so we've been, we've done the man made mutant, we've done Van Horn, we've done Fort Bernard, Bernard, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We've done a lot of shit, but you know what we haven't done? We haven't finished the game. And we haven't tried to go into Blackwater. What happens if you walk into Blackwater? What happens if you're just a stroll in? What? Yeah, tell me what happened. <laughs> Mother frickin' game. Can you hop out of the boat? And run? What are you, XXX Concassion or a black guy? I'm sorry. We we have we have to make a racist joke every once in a while, guys. We don't have to, but I mean, what's this channel gonna live off of if we don't have racism? Hey, have you done the broken pirate sword mystery yet? Oh, I fucking did it too. Yeah, thanks for ruining my night, brother. Well, I guess I'm gonna end this video here. Two mysteries solved. Well. One didn't actually fucking work, but yeah!